Technology Institute of Engineering and Technology. And now we study about vibration measurement. Now, uh, before starting this lecture, students, you have to understand why we need the measurement system. First of all, as we have already studied about uh, our post transmissibility as well as isolation system. Okay, so in that kind of system, we have to save our machine, our delicate machine, uh, by the harmful effect of vibration. Okay, so here, if we can measure the vibration, vibrations, we can easily save our machines by the harmful effects of vibrations. Okay, so let us start our chapter. First of all, there are different measuring instruments. So, in our uh, instruments, they are vibrometer, accelerometer, vibration pickups, FFT analyzer, frequency measurement, single wave frequency meter, and multi ring frequency meter. Okay, so in here, in vibration pickups, uh, we have total four different types LVDT, strain gauge, electromagnetic or electrodynamic system and piezoelectric accelerometer okay so here there are number of different types in this fft analyzer there are also number of different types but in our lecture i am taking only some most important measuring instruments which are very helpful as well as which are the very basic uh, in the measuring instruments so let us start uh, what is the basic principle of vibration measurement? So, as you see the uh, graph in this diagram, in our first stage, there is a vibration, vibrating machine or a structure. It means we have particularly the machine itself. Okay. In the second stage, there are vibration transducer or pickups. It means we have to check the vibrations if uh, it is there. Okay, now next, there is the signal conversion instrument. It means we have to convert our vibration in the, uh, the vibrational signal in the proper amplification. So, we need to amplify them if they are very less. The next, our next step is the display unit or a computer. It means we can only measure the vibrations in our display or a computer unit so that we can easily identify and recover all the vibrations and then finally the data analysis so by the analysis of all the data we can identify each and every system very clear so this is the basic principle of vibration measurement first step we should have the machine Second, we should have the pickup. It means we should connect our vibrating machine with some system so that we can measure the vibration. Third is the signal conversion. It means we have to convert that signal, the vibrations, and if they are very less, we need to amplify it in our system. Then next, it is connect with the display unit or the computer. We have to measure them and we can generate the graph of that particular vibration and after that we have some data analysis as if we need to put any system properly we have to analyze that data okay so now let us start our seismic instrument now well, this instrument can uh, is generally used basically for measuring the ground or the earth vibration known as earthquake Okay, in some of the mechanical instruments they are used, used, but for basically the earthquake we are using the seismic instrument. As you see in this instrument, there is a drum and a rotor mounted upon the system and one uh, seismo, uh, seismic equipment which, which is attached to the system. Now, that rotor is mounted on the earth surface. Okay, so when the earth surface is vibrate or uh, will move to and fro, then it will uh, give the motion to that dial which is uh, at the very middle of the portion. 
the dial consists of a pen okay and that pen will mark on that roller if you see in this diagram so basically the horizontal motion of a seismograph which is particularly come from the inertia of the round weight okay tends to hold the pen and it will measure the vibration of the system let me again explain this while the earth will vibrate with respect to the vibration this system which is mount on the earth will also vibrate but how can we measure the vibration so it is uh, it is attached with the dial and dial is having one pen okay and there is a drum which is uh, which may roll with respect to that vibrations and due to that rolling and with respect to that pen vibration we can draw the graph pattern on this uh, on this drum okay and by that system we can measure the vibration this is a very basic uh, instrument i can say it is the first instrument what we can by which we can understand the basic uh, earth vibrations okay so this is the seismic instrument next one is vibrometer accelerometer as a seismic instrument students you have to understand vibrometer can measure the vibrations accelerometer can measure the acceleration in any of the system if you are choosing any any one of the system we have to use the combination of vibro as well as accelerometer it means the system may vibrate and can uh, generate some acceleration and by that acceleration we can measure or we can amplify that system and we can measure the total vibrations so now if you see first of all it is the seismic pickup so there is the drum uh, in the drum uh, some oil is uh, contained uh, contained and there is the another uh, mechanism inside it as we call it as a mass and the spring at the center it is attached to the system okay now uh, just uh, uh, very near to the system there are two signal coils by which if there is any vibration or sensors uh, inside the system it will sense the signal coil can sense the vibration itself okay now the total system is mounted on a body ma machine uh, in which we can say that machine as a vibrating body okay now when we put that uh, this machine to that um, uh, another machine we call the vibrating body that body will vibrate and by the vibration of that body the mass which is inside that liquid will move upward or downward now this mass is attached with the spring hence spring will move upward and downward and by this system the signal which are very near to this system can easily measure the vibration of this system okay this is the very much construction detail of a seismic pickup now we have another vibration model by this model how can we understand this system as you see there is a mass at the base there is a body which is the vibrating body okay now this vibrating body will vibrate up to some level now because this vibrating body is attached with a spring and damper they will also move and by that motion the mass will also move towards upper side or the downward side and this mass is attached with the pen to the scale and by that we can measure the scaling point of this vibration system okay now if you see this diagram very clearly and particularly if you see the vibrating body will vibrate at the y amplitude and the mass will vibrate having the x amplitude it means we can use the relative amplitude theory in our case so students you can easily use relative uh, relative measurement theory or the base excitation theory in our system for measuring each and every amplitude x or y okay so now let us have another pickup known as a vibration pickup this is the uh, foremost uh, diagram having the 
strain gauge. As we have already studied about the strain gauge, it can measure the difference. Okay, so here there is the mass. Again, now all of the system should be mounted on a vibrating body of which we need to measure the vibration. So here there is the uh, strain gauge we have to put on the vibrating body and by that uh, base the vibrations having Y amplitude, the strain gauge will uh, give us the exact output in that terminus. Okay, so by the vibrating body, if it is vibrating, the mass is fixed with the cantilever wing and the mass will bend it towards upward side or uh, downward side. Okay, it means it is having some longitudinal vibrations. And by this longitudinal vibration, the strain gauge will give you the output in that terminus. Okay, so this is one of the simplest type of vibration pickup. Now, let us have electrodynamic or electromagnetic system. Students, this is also uh, mounted on the vibrating body. It should be attached with the vibrating body. Now, in this case, we have to use the poles, north as well as south pole. Now, if any system, this system is slightly far away from the vibrating body so that it can measure the vibration in the form of a flux generator. Okay, in the form of a flux and the sensing coil uh, at the center which is attached at the center will sense the flux generator in the system. So, by the magnetic system we can easily measure the vibrations. Uh, in addition to this, if we will attach this system with our computer system, it will simply amplify the vibrations and simply generate the graph of that flux which are cut by the vibration system. Okay, so this is the electrodynamic or electromagnetic uh, uh, vibration system. Now let us have LVDT system. This is also, this uh, will also put on the uh, mechanical vibrating body. Now, as you know, this is with the attachment of the magnetic system. Okay. As you see, there is the magnetic core. And if the displacement is to and fro, okay, if the displacement is to and fro, we have to attach three coils. First one is the input. Second one is the secondary coil. Okay. Now, by that input voltage, if a voltage is transmitted through this magnetic core, what will happen? The flux is generated and it is known as primary coil also. Okay. The flux is generated. Now, by this magnetic core, however, the flux is cut. Now, in the secondary coil, we will get the output voltage. Okay. And by the difference of input as well as output, we will get how much value we are getting by the vibrations. Okay. So, how much reduction is there we will get by the LVDT system. So, this is in general the magnetic or electromagnetic system. Now, let us have piezoelectric accelerometer. So, here in this case we have to use piezoelectric crystals. Now, students, uh, it, is, uh, it is the amazing equipment which we are using in this. It can have the very stiff value. Its stiffness is very, very much. And what is the stiffness, do you know? It is generally 10 kN per meter, uh, the stiffness value of piezoelectric crystals. Okay? They are basically mounted below the mass. Now, the total system is, uh, is mounted on the vibrating. Now, because the piezoelectric crystals are very stiffer, it will move very, very less amount of the motion will tend to act on the system. But by this system, we will get the very much and very clear amplitude value in our output as well as the terminal values. Okay, so this is piezoelectric accelerometer, and as the name suggests, it will uh, measure the acceleration of the system. So, by the system, we are easily getting the acceleration of our vibrating body. Now, let us have FFT analyzer, known as fast Fourier transform. Okay, fast Fourier transform. Now, as we see the uh, diagram, first of all, which is the variable grain or attenuation. 
second one is the low pass filter third one is the sampler fourth one is adc which is known as analog to digital converter fifth which is the fft analyzer and then it can display okay as you see it is the continuous system which we need to uh, convert and we will get the direct answer in our display we do not need to convert it in any uh, velocity we do not need to convert in the acceleration or the displacement we will get directly the display with the help of fft analyzer now this kind of analyzer can be used by hand itself or can be directly put on the machine and we will get the vibration itself now this system in in a uh, in so many mechanical systems we are using this system as the very uh, basic and required okay so it is very required for mechanical system uh, known as fft analyzer now in this case we can use our magnetic system as well as a phase system also so based on which kind of fft analyzer you are using you can choose any of the equipment and it will give us the continuous frequency of any system okay so this is also very very much important next one which is the simplest one single read frequency meter this can read the frequency of the system as you see the strip and is attached with the mass okay and it is fixed with the screw now this system is also need to put on the machine if the machine is uh, vibrated with some vibration or having some base excitation with respect to this that mass attached at the foremost part of the system will vibrate and the strip strip will vibrate now strip is attached with some sensing system and we can easily measure the amplitude of the system this is known as single read frequency meter okay this is the very much simplest uh, method used for measuring the uh, vibration of the system now we have multi read frequency meter okay we can also known as preham tachometer so this is simply the tachometer as you see there are number of read okay number of strips are there and oh, each and every strip is having different mass is containing different mass all the strips are mounted on the vibrating body with the fixed nut and bolt okay now when this vibrating body will vibrate and having some amplitude this uh, reeds will vibrate on its surface because they are having different masses they will vibrate with different frequencies okay and by getting the different natural frequencies and by solving this frequencies we will directly get the exact value of vibration student this is the most prominent and efficient vibration measuring instrument known as multi read frequency meter okay this is known as tachometer now in this system i am considering the i am considering or taking a very less kind of uh, very useful and uh, very less amount of different types of vibration measuring instruments okay now in your case if you want to study more and more about vibration measuring instrument you have to read your book and in your book there are two or three more than this okay so they are nearly similar kind of vibration measuring instrument hence i didn't cover in our uh, video lecture okay if you have any query you can simply ask